At this time, I have the honor to present to you the moral leader of our nation, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I'm happy to join with you here today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in this. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the tables of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering in the heat of oppression, a state sweltering in the heat of injustice, will be transformed into an oasis of justice and freedom. I have a dream, I say I have a dream. I have a dream that one day my four little children will not live in a nation where they are judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist and its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification right there down in Alabama little black boys and girls will be able to join hands together with little white boys and girls as sisters and brothers I have a dream today And when this happens, when we let freedom ring, when we let freedom ring from every hamlet and every village, in every state and every city, we will speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands together and sing the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, see you next.